I have the perfect Halloween dessert for you today, Halloween Rice Krispie Treats. It's my favorite Rice Krispie Treat recipe mixed with a bunch of Halloween fun uh, sprinkles and candy. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Hey everyone, it's Dorothy with crazyforcrust.com and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm talking about Halloween Rice Krispie Treats. These are perfect for the holiday. Kids love them, adults love them, and they're just a basic Rice Krispie Treat jazzed up with tons of fun Halloween sprinkles and candy. So these are super easy. For more delicious desserts and easy recipes, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Now let's get in the kitchen. Now we're starting with one stick or half of a cup of unsalted butter and I added it to a large pot um, and I'm heating it over medium, medium low heat and you're just gonna melt this. Um, now you can do this in the microwave but I don't have a bowl big enough to stir the Rice Krispie Treats in but I have this huge stock pot that I use, it makes it way easier. That way there's not like Rice Krispies flying all over your counter when you're trying to mix it in. So you're just gonna heat this until that butter is melted. Make sure that it doesn't burn. You can brown this butter if you want I've done that before. Those are fantastic. Once your butter is melted, you're going to add your marshmallows and you need 15 ounces of marshmallows. That's one and a half bags. I like using mini marshmallows because um, they melt a little bit easier than the large ones, but you can definitely use any size. Just make sure you use 15 ounces of them. Um, and I highly recommend using fresh marshmallows. Don't use ones that have been like open for a while or ones that are that you bought you know last year for s'more and you forgot to use them, use fresh marshmallows because they'll melt way easier. If you're having trouble melting them, it's probably because they're not fresh. And just keep stirring it because we're heating this over medium, medium low heat. You don't want it to burn. So just keep stirring until all of those marshmallows are melted in with that butter. Towards the end of that mixing, go ahead and add your vanilla. So we're adding two teaspoons of vanilla extract in here and just stir that in um, until everything's melted. And then you're gonna turn off the heat. Um, you can remove it from the stove if you want, um, whatever's easiest, and then add in your Rice Krispies. Now I'm using nine cups of Rice Krispies. Um, you can use any flavor. You, um, these would be great with Cocoa Krispies or Cocoa Pebbles or Fruity Pebbles. Um, just stir that in, working kind of quickly. You wanna make sure that, you know, you want to work a little bit quickly quickly that's why the panels stay hot um, but you want to work until you don't want them to solidify before you have finished stirring them then we're gonna add together add in our Halloween fun so I added sprinkles and candy corn and Halloween M&Ms now you can use anything that you like make sure that you use a good quality sprinkle so they don't melt just FYI some sprinkles do melt so if you're worried about that just use more M&Ms more candy corn um, but again use whatever you like and then you're gonna put this into a 9 by 13 inch pan that's been lined with either foil or parchment and sprayed with nonstick cooking spray um, so go ahead and just place that in. make sure you prepare your pan before you even start that way you're because you're you're working quickly once you're stirring these together. I like to use the butter wrapper to press these into the pan. You don't have to worry about compacting them too much. These are gonna stay soft for a long time. They're, they're designed to be nice and soft and gooey and not get too hard and crunchy. Um, when it comes to candy corn, make sure and also use fresh candy corn. Do not use candy corn that you um, had left over from last year because you'll break your teeth on them when you're eating them. So make sure you buy fresh candy corn if you're using that. And then I always like to sprinkle some extra M&Ms on the top and some extra candy corn, wherever it looks like it's kind of empty on the top. There are some gonna be some areas that um, are just look like Rice Krispie Treats. So I like to like press some extra stuff. You could do sprinkles. You could put candy eyeballs in here. That would be really fun. Again, any Halloween colors or shapes or candies work fantastic in this. And then you're just gonna let these sit on the counter. They will solidify pretty quickly. They're gonna stay really gooey and soft, so keep that in mind. But within an hour or two, you'll be able to slice them. And then once it's time to slice them, you can make these as big or as small as, the, as you want. I'm slicing them into um, quarters and then each of those into four pieces. But again, you can make them smaller. These are, you know, these pack a punch because there's a lot of them. Um, store these in an airtight container. They will last for several days if they're in an airtight container because of all that butter and those gooey marshmallows inside. 
I love how easy these are, that it's just my basic recipe, and you just add in those candies and sprinkles. Makes it super simple, the kids can help out. Um, you can use any flavor, um, crispies for this, or even uh, fruity pebbles or cocoa pebbles. These are perfect. You can see how gooey they are, and they're nice and thick, just like I like my Rice Krispie treats. Leave me a comment and let me know what other Halloween treats you love, and keep watching for even more desserts.